Welcome to Science for Schools. Today we're going to be looking at heat transfer by radiation. Now how can we be sure that it's going to be by radiation? Well, what I have here are three cans. They're all the same material. I've got one painted black, one painted white, and one not painted at all. So any effect by conduction should be the same because they're all the same material. Uh, I'm going to make sure there's no convection transfer because they're all going to be stoppered. So the only one left is going to be radiation. So what I'm going to do is get my hot water. I'm going to pour 250 mils of this hot water into each of these. Just to make sure they all start out exactly the same temperature, I've got this hot water bath. So any effect that might go on before I finish pouring it out will hopefully just uh, undo itself. So I need to get 250 mils each time. So I'm going to take this black one first, pour in my 250 mils. Just be careful you don't spill any, otherwise you're going to end up with less water than you need. Now, now I'm going to put this back in the hot water bath, just to be absolutely sure it doesn't go down too much while I get everything else ready. Now I'm going to put my stopper and thermometer into each of these. Before I start taking measurements I'm going to try and get the temperature in each of these to be the same just in case the thermometers are too cold. And make sure everything starts out exactly the same. And once I've done that I can actually start the experiment for real. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I've now got each of these at about the same temperature. They're all at 69 or so. So I'm going to register that as my zero temperature. Using a different colour for each of these. Using green for white because white isn't going to show up well on a whiteboard. And metal is blue because I don't have a silver marker. So I'm going to take all these out of the water. And start my clock. Now I'm going to take the temperature of these every two minutes or so for ten minutes or thereabouts. It may go on a bit longer just to be sure we can see good results. And I'm also separating these a little bit, just to make sure there's no extra heat transfer in between any of them. Okay, so about 10 minutes have gone by. Uh, a little bit more actually, so I've done up the results. Uh, this is what we've gotten. The temperatures of each of them has fallen, as you may expect. The, they're hot, the room is cold relatively at least, so the heat should be leaving the bottles. What happens is, though, uh, the heat from the black one seems to be going down a bit faster than either the other two. The white, again, the heat's leaving a little bit faster than this purely metal one. And I've done a little graph to illustrate that. See, they're all starting at 69, and they're all going down pretty much linearly. Uh, and they all end up at slightly different, the black one being the coldest, the white one being slightly warmer, and the metal one being the hottest. So what we can take away from this is, since everything else is the same, they're all the same container, the same size, uh, same shape, uh, we blocked away any kind of fluid movement, so there's no conduction, or at least the conduction effects are the same in each case, the convection effects are the same in each case, the only difference is the colour coating. And that is a result of radiation, that this black colour will allow the radiation to escape, whereas the white and the shiny metal colour will kind of reflect it a bit more, so the heat that tries to get out will just get reflected back in by radiation. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next episode.